The gridded population of the world, or GPW, is a gridded data product that depicts the distribution of human population across the globe. The basic inputs to GPW are population data and administrative boundaries from the world censuses. The population within a given census unit is distributed evenly over each grid cell within that unit to produce a global grid of population. This gridded format lets researchers easily integrate the population data with data from the social, economic, and or sciences. The latest, fourth version of GPW has several main improvements. More current data, improved spatial resolution, increased number of input units, and additional census variables. GPW-4 has been updated using census data from the 2010 round of censuses, which spanned from 2005 to 2014. Where census results were unavailable, official population estimates from the national statistics offices were used. Because the population data come from different years, we extrapolate the data to five target years. GPW-4 has population estimates for every square kilometer of land on the planet for the years 2000, 2005, 2010, 2015, and 2020. Data processing capacity has increased significantly since the last version of GPW. This means GPW-4 is now gridded using a much smaller cell size than in previous versions. Earlier versions were gridded at a two and a half arc minute grid cell size, or about four kilometers at the equator. That's about two and a half miles. GPW-4 is now gridded using 30 arc second grids, or about one kilometer at the equator. This grid size is now standard among global gridded population data sets and lets GPW be easily integrated with a wide range of data. GPW-4 includes many more input administrative units, greatly improving the accuracy of our population estimates. Technological advancements are a key factor in these improvements. In recent years, national statistics offices around the world have made more of their census data available online and easily downloadable. As a result, we have higher resolution data for more than 100 countries. In particular, resolution has been improved for a number of small island states, which are especially vulnerable to climate change and rising sea level. Knowing the coastal population distribution of these islands is therefore highly relevant. For example, Fiji now has over 1,600 input enumeration areas compared to only 15 provinces in the previous versions of GPW. Overall, 12.5 million input units are included in this fourth version of GPW. A highly anticipated addition to this version of GPW is the inclusion of gridded census variables, global grids of sex, age, and urban rural designation. These grids let users look at many different demographic breakdowns, such as the elderly population in urban areas, school-aged children, and women, women of childbearing age. For example, in the map of Panama, on the left, we can see the percentage of rural population in 2010. On the right, the percentage of urban population. In the map of India's sex ratio, we can see a striking difference in the distribution of males and females across the country. In addition to helping better map vulnerability, these grids of basic demographic characteristics will extend GPW's usefulness to a broader range of applications, including urbanization, migration, disaster planning and response, and public health. Overall, the improvements at GPW have created a more up-to-date, accurate, and relevant gridded population data set. To learn more about GPW-4 and to download the data and maps, please visit the CDAC website.